I'm a screenwriter and producer based out of Toronto, and I recently submitted a project of mine to Jordan Peele's production company, Monkey Pop Productions. Okay, no, I didn't submit it, you know, to Jordan's email, and he didn't open it like, wow, wow, Mike's script's really great. No. Uh, so essentially, Monkey Pop Productions partnered with TIFF and Universal Filmmakers Association to launch their new initiative called No Drama. So what No Drama is about, essentially, they're looking for up and coming filmmakers in the genre space, five filmmakers to be specific. And those five winners will be given a $50,000 grant to go towards the development of the short film script that they submitted. They'll get mentorship along the way as well. And I believe the end goal is to get to feature film development. So yeah, I submitted along with 3,665 other people worldwide. That's not a made up number. That's what they posted on their Instagram. I saw that. I was like, oh, okay, I thought it would be more for some reason. So I was like, you know, I feel okay about this. Maybe this could work. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to go on a quick drive and chat about the process and how I developed my story and, you know, what I would do and how I'd react if I was to be selected. Uh, and yeah, we can just talk shop about film and stuff. So let's go. So this whole process started over a year ago at this point. Uh, my friend and I were writing a feature film script and we were about halfway through the script. It was a horror film and it was something we wanted to shoot up at a cottage um, in a couple months time from when we were writing it. And It was a really cool script but somewhere along the line of the writing process I had this idea for a short horror film which is now called Voodoo about a kid who comes across these voodoo dolls and uses them to kind of wreak havoc on other people, to put it lightly, to put it lightly. Um, so anyways, that night I went home and wrote this script, it was like eight pages, and my friend and I were both really excited about how it came out, and we decided it was something that we wanted to produce like the next month. So that's when I really put my producing hat on, he directed it, and uh, yeah, we got it made in two days. We brought on a full cast and crew, it was a great experience. Fast forward a few months after we finished production, and uh, the announcement for no drama comes out and I was really excited about the voodoo screenplay so you know I adapted it and submitted to this contest 3,666 people applied worldwide honestly I thought the number was gonna be a lot bigger so when I saw that number I felt you know maybe being naive I was pretty optimistic I was, I was like oh sick so I have a chance is what you're telling me so I have a chance to get selected for this um, and they required quite a lot for the submission you had to submit a script a lookbook uh, which essentially for those of you that don't know is uh, a visual representation of what your story is going to be about from moods to tone character you know it, it touching on a lot of different things but showing a, a heavy visual element to kind of bring the emotion and, and the message across. You had to record a personal statement video, which essentially is you pitching yourself as a, a person and a filmmaker. You had to record a pitch video, pitching the project itself. Um, you had to submit your resume. This was optional, but you could submit letters of recommendation, which I did. I was fortunate enough to meet a few people in the industry that were known, and they were kind enough to write me letters of recommendation, which was really cool. And they were quite clear in their instructions that if you miss anything, like if you don't submit something or you submit something improperly or um, obviously if you're late, it's automatic disqualification. So I was kind of happy about that because I knew I was having a difficult time submitting myself, but I was really putting a lot of effort into making sure that everything was like perfect. So I had this feeling that a lot of people were going to be eliminated just because they didn't like read the instructions very clearly and I had a few friends in the industry submit as well so we would help each other with our uh, submission packages you know like making sure everything's top-notch quality you know what I'm saying I gotta clean my windows man I just realized looking into this monitor monitor <laughs> I'm shooting on my phone <laughs> FYI I'll be honest I did probably go against guidelines by submitting a project that had already been in production although the project had not and still is not released yet um, but because it's not released and because I can, I'm willing to reshoot it and make changes and improve the project because we shot that, we shot Voodoo on a $4,000 budget that was like primarily personally funded. So to go from $4,000 to $50,000 and really like 
jack up the production value and you know do things better than what we did because we learned a lot that was like a that was my first legitimate set like working and running my legitimate set um, like I said my friend directed it and uh, there was a lot of growing pains so to go back and do it again with more money and more experience and like more confidence would I think would make the project ten times better in my opinion I think it's great what Jordan Peele's doing for filmmakers, giving people this opportunity. I'm sure he's aware of how difficult it is to like really break out as a, a writer, a producer, a, a director, and to get your stuff seen on a large scale. I mean, like it's a miracle to make a great film. It's not an easy thing to do. So to be able to like make something great and then have it be seen by a wide range of people is awesome. I mean, that's really my goal in all this is to make my own projects and to be proud of them and show them to the world and you know god forbid get paid for that as well um i don't that's not too much to ask for right so yeah i'm uh like i said i'm optimistic yeah i really have high expectations for myself not even just as far as this uh no drama submission goes but just future projects things i want to do i want to keep developing my own projects, feature films, TV, pitch stuff to people. I want to act, I want to direct. So just go out and make stuff. Um, if you're watching this and you are a creative and you're already making stuff, great. I want to know about it. I want to see it. Um, if you're not making stuff and you want to make stuff, go make stuff or if you like just consuming art for the sake of consuming art and what it does to your life and how it you know brings value to you that's a beautiful thing too and you don't have to be creative I think we all have something in us that we want to express you know sometimes I get like a kind of cathartic feeling just from watching art you know whether it's movies or listening to music or whatever it may be like I went through a phase of like a year where I would just watch clips or montages of like some of my favorite TV shows or scenes online usually sadder stuff but um, being able to like experience those types of uh, emotions and kind of live outside of your body in a weird way yeah thanks for watching this video and I'm gonna go play some tennis now so